What is up guys, it is Captains here, bringing you my first ever Call of Duty Ghost upload on this channel. This is a 21 in 10 blitz on Prison Break. And 21 in 10 doesn't sound like a very good score, I don't think it is under YouTube standards, not even close. But, I was under some tough circumstances in this game, I was playing solo, and we were unable to win, and the enemies I was facing were pretty solid, so... It was pretty difficult to do well in this game, I ended up having an okay score, I would look for more gameplays, but I was basically playing for an hour and I had to kind of get a gameplay really quick that I could use to make this commentary because I really wanted to upload a video again. I really enjoy this game too. I know there's a lot of people complaining about the map size and you'll see in this game the map size is a problem. Like right now you see I can't find anybody. But I am going to talk to you about today five things that you can do to amplify your experience in ghosts and I want to make people's experiences better with this game because I sure have been having a lot of fun and I have a few tricks that I use and some a few of them are related to the gameplay and what you can do and a few of them are a little behind the scenes and stuff you can do not necessarily in game that can help you have a better experience with this game because I want this channel to both bring you entertaining content and help you out in situ or I guess life things if you want to help on how to be able to be successful in pressure situations I could give you guys tips on that if you want to know how to increase uh, your level of play in Call of Duty I could help you with that or other things I could help you with many things so if you want me to help you with something leave it in the comment section below I could do pretty general subjects so that's kind of what I wanted to say but let's get into this topic five things you can do to increase your experience and make your experience better with Call of Duty Ghosts the first thing in game make sure you use stalker stalker is one of the most important perks for you to use and what it does is when you aim down your sight you're able to strafe around corners a lot easier and the reason why this is so important is because if people are camping in this game strafing is the best way to take out campers in corners because they won't see you coming around that corner you already have your sights aimed down so you will have the upper hand on all the campers and the camping problem no longer becomes a problem if they're camping and you use stalker it turns into an advantage for you because you have the advantage on the gunfight if you're using stalker number two play the game mode blitz blitz is the game mode you see here it's kind of an alternative capture the flag where if you run into the objective you respawn in a defensive position and why you need to play, or you don't need to play Blitz, but why I would recommend playing Blitz is because people tend to rush in this game mode more than other game modes. I've played Search and Destroy, people are camping in the back of the map the whole game. I've played Team Deathmatch, people are camping in corners everywhere. But you're watching this gameplay, and people are running around in this game because you have to go to the other team's spawn if you want to play the objective and if you want to win the game. So this is a great game mode if you want to limit the number of campers you're going to play against in a lobby. Obviously there is no way to completely avoid all the campers, but from my experience this is the closest game mode you're going to get to eliminating all the campers. Number four, or number three, sorry we're not on number four, number three, try the Honey Badger. This is the gun I'm using here, and this gun has a lot of recoil but you will be very successful with it. It is very it has a lot of damage, high damage output and it's very beast at close range. It is hard to beat at close range. So, you see these gunfights I'm winning, you'll see another one coming up in about a sec here that it's really easy to win and with the built-in silencer, you can put two attachments on the Honey Badger plus a silencer, so you could put three attachments on the Honey Badger. And it's a really easy gun to use. I think if you are a beginner or intermediate at this game, this gun is the gun to use for you. But one bad thing about it is its recoil makes it hard to use at long range. But this is the gun I would use if you're looking for help. Number four. This is number four. I would play with friends. This gameplay also shows why you need to play with friends. I was playing solo in this game, and I was the only one relatively doing something on my team. 
I know I didn't get a lot of captures because I was frantically trying to switch back and forth when playing defense or offense based on the flow of our team. But if you play with friends, you will not lose a lot of games. And most of the games I lose in this game are to parties of people. So if you're going to play with friends, you're going to have a lot more fun in this game. Especially since usually your teammates are not going to be as good as you. Oh, look at this maniac here. Oh my goodness. But your teammates usually aren't going to be as good as you when you are playing solo. So if you play with friends who are equal to your level, then you'll have a lot more fun. You'll be able to play a little better throughout your game. And this last one I would say is very controversial because a lot of people hate this perk. A lot of people like this perk. And I'm going to put a filter on this. I say only if you are playing respawn, use amplify. And I don't know how much I'm going to get, how much hate I'm going to get on this video for saying this, but with the exception of search and destroy, use amplify. Amplify has saved my life so many times. And in respawn, it's not as big of an issue because dying is not as terrible as it is in search and destroy or getting kills is not as crucial as it is in search and destroy and blitz especially so if you use amplify you're able to get an upper hand on the enemies flanking you and you're able to have a lot more of an advantage over the enemy when you're playing and i think that that's really important i know whenever i play search and destroy i take off amplify because i don't believe that amplify should be used in a game type where sound is so crucial like it is in search and destroy but for reef spawn when sound is less crucial i think it is appropriate to use amplify to give yourself an advantage and you see these gunfights that i'm winning here most of these are because of amplify and stalker so those are my five things that will help you improve your experience in Call of Duty Ghosts. If you want me to help you improve your experience or help you get better at something, please leave it in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed my first commentary, and I'll be posting more hopefully soon. Thank you guys. Bye.